What's happening guys? Kenny here again and today I've got another Apex review for you and what I'll be talking about is this little guy. Uh, that's right guys, this is the Benchmade proper and this is the version with uh, carbon fiber scales as you can plainly see and S90V steel. Uh, this also has like a brass or bronze or I'm sure some people will call that gold liners. Um, I believe they're stainless steel liners though. And uh, this is actually um, courtesy of the Apex Pass Around Group, hence the Apex uh, Review. So um, if you guys aren't familiar with my channel, uh, the Apex Pass Around, or the Apex Pass Around Group for that matter, um, they are a group of reviewers sending uh, knives around. A lot of times they'll be uh, supplied by the manufacturer or the distributor, or sometimes, like in this case, this was actually... Um, this was actually given to the pass around group by Zach from Zach Stuff. So uh, shout out and thank you to Zach for sending this guy along for everyone to check out. I'll be sending this back to him after um, this review. So uh, thanks a lot, Zach. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, I was really excited to check out a proper. Uh, these have been out now for a few years, I feel like, and I still haven't gotten a chance to check one out. So I was really excited. Um, the, the original version comes in G10 with S30V steel. And there's also like a bunch of different versions. There's like a micarta one. So there's just, um, they've had a few different um, reiterations of it now. But um, I was stoked to try this one. This is actually the one I'd probably be a little more drawn to, uh, except for the micarta. I'd really love to get the micarta, but I'd probably want like S90 as the steel. Uh, a lot of that is because I don't have any other bench, I don't have any Benchmade S90. So I've been really uh, intrigued just to try it. Um, you know, I, I do have Spyderco S90, I have some Manly S90, but I want to try some Benchmade S90. So yeah, one of the things I was looking forward to, although I'm not going to get to sharpen this and stuff. So, um, hence the Apex Pass Round Group. I will link, um, a, I have a methodology video about my Apex Pass Round Group, like my, um, my approach in these videos. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description for anyone who doesn't know how I go about these. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the size compare um, size comparisons and specs. I'll go ahead and put the specs on the page right here. Um, I don't like to waste you guys' time and measure out and spew off a bunch of specs, so I do it in this manner. And um, I'll go ahead and bring you guys back, and we'll go ahead and go into some size comparisons. So first things first, I'll bring in some uh, bench maids. Obviously, uh, this is the mini grip tillion. And then I'll bring in a 940, although the 940 is definitely going to make the proper look small. Uh, the, the mini grip is a pretty good size comparison. Look at a relatively similar uh, blade length, really close, just a little bit longer on the mini grip. And um, really similar size handles. Uh, grip size is very similar, although this little hump right here does create uh, a point where your pinky might not slip on. Like you can see here, guys, my pinky just barely fits on the end of that, um, whereas this won't. So I'll show you, I'll get more into that in a second. But yeah, we've got the, um, this is the Spyderco Chaparral. This is the lightweight version. Uh, similar size knife, although smaller. And then here's the Native 5. This is the LC200 and uh, Salt Series. If you guys haven't seen this on my channel before, uh, of course, with my modifications. Uh, the scale dyeing and the acid etch on the blade. Um, I'll bring in a few. These are a few Laconico designs that are really similar size. Um, these are, um, this is the min pin. These are both by M MBK, Monterey Bay Knives. And this is the EWC. Very similar size knives. Both, both of these knives kind of fit in the same category as the proper wood for me, which is pretty much fifth pocket carry. Um, similar size knives though. And then uh, last but not least, I'm gonna bring in a, another slip joint that is a very similar size knife as well. Very similar amount of work you can get done with these two knives. Um, so, and they're both in S90V. So I will be kind of comparing these two a little bit back and forth, but um, yeah, I mean, 
They are a very comparable knife, although the Benchmade is definitely a much more expensive knife. And I'll get more into why, and we can obviously see that just right off the bat um, when you look at the handles and stuff. But yeah, you're looking at about a $60 knife here. I think they were 60 uh, maybe 70 or 80 I forget with S90V versions a little more expensive, but you could get the L, uh, 14C28N for much cheaper. But uh, yeah, th this is about a $200 knife uh, retail, so big difference there. But um, yeah, getting right into it now, um, I'm going to go into uh, my overall view. I Like I said, I was, I was really just kind of um, uh, excited to try one. Um, I'm not much of a slip joint guy. Guys, as you well know, if you've been following me for a while now, but it, it, it has nothing to do with the beauty or the essence of slope joints because I do love, um, I mean, one of my first knives was a, a Swiss Army knife, you know, and I've had many traditionals throughout my life, um, whether they be case or whatever it may be. Um, I have GEC, I have a GEC knife, um, like I do enjoy traditionals. Um, my issue with traditionals, guys, is is in everyday carry, like actually use during the day. Um, I'm just not, I'm more of a pragmatic guy when it comes to knife design, I feel like. And this is very pragmatic, don't get me wrong. But when, when I'm talking about um, actually using my knife, a lot of times as a carpenter, where I'm at, where I work, I'll be using something, I'll be holding something with my left hand and I have to cut it with my right. And for me, my practical thinking, I like to have a knife where I can easily um, slip it out of my pocket, flip it open, cut what I need, flip it close, and put it away. Um, that's just me as my practical thinking in knife design. Now, um, with a traditional, opening it with one hand, for one, a lot of times you have one of these in a slip. Now, you have to take it out of your pocket, out of the slip, open it, cut it, close it, put it back in the slip, and back in your pocket. That is too many steps for me, for a lot of my, you know, most of my needs during the day. So, um, and with this knife, of course, I don't have a slip or anything, and it just slipped in my front pocket. But still, it, it fits in that category of like, there's an extra step, which I don't necessarily um, like in my everyday. So that's why I don't carry traditionals, nothing against them. But um, moving on, uh, I'm going to go into the aesthetics, which uh, this is the most uh, subjective part of this v review. And um, I do like the overall look of this knife. For one, the, uh, the you know, carbon fiber is done well. I'll talk more about that in the next, um, the next section. But I think the overall look of the knife is cool. Um, it, it is that kind of traditional look, yet it has like more of a, a modern handle on it. And... I do like the clip point blade, although I think there's a little bit of funkiness there for me with the where the thumbnail nick is and the the logo. It, it just looks a little funny to me. And I don't know if that's just me, but it, it does to me. So um, aesthetically overall, I think the knife's pretty cool. I don't even mind the, the brass or gold liners, whatever you want to call them. I think it looks pretty classy. I think it's a nice classy slip joint, to be honest, but... Uh, overall, I think it's a cool knife. I don't love the the way they finished out the blade, but I think it's it's fine. It doesn't bother me. And um, it would have been hard to know where to put the nail nick and where to put the logo to make it look aesthetically pleasing. Um, I don't personally think that is, but it you know again it's mine, my my personal preference. So uh, moving on into fit and finish, uh, the fit and finish on this knife is done well. Uh, the my uh, the <laughs> my carta. the carbon fiber is definitely solid carbon fiber, and it is beautiful. Um, it's very very well done. The contouring really shows, uh, the the texture or not texture, but the um you know the actual, um design of the carbon fiber. You can see there. This is a weave, type of carbon fiber, and it is absolutely gorgeous on the edge there. Uh, the the gold liners are really nice, um, just a nice touch that kind of pops against the black. So, yeah, very well done in that case. I do love uh, the way the carbon fiber is done. The backspacer and spring and all that, um, it's not terribly flush here. 
Although maybe when I close it, you know, it's still not flush at the top here. It's kind of low here, a little high here, a little low again here, which is kind of tough to get that nailed on, um, a, you know, the spring on a, on a um, slip joint. But yeah, you guys know that GEC and a lot of these other companies that pay more attention, what it is, guys, is a lot of those companies, everything's pinned and then they polish it all after. So that's, it's much easier to get everything flush. With a, a construction like this, where they put it together after all the parts are made separately, it's going to be a lot harder for them to hit that perfectly. But yeah, uh, could be done better. Not amazing, but not horrible either. Uh, pretty, pretty flush back here. Nothing I could necessarily feel. Maybe a little bit, but nothing bad. Um, you can feel it the most like right here, I think. Even here, you can't feel it as much, but here it's kind of bad. But yeah, not not something I'm super worried about. Uh, centering's pretty good. On slip joints, that centering tends to uh, walk a little bit, but this one seems to pretty much stay centered no matter what I do. So pretty nice. Uh, kind of hard with back locks and slip joints. Usually they move around a little bit. Uh, this does have phosphor bronze washers though, guys, if you didn't see that in the, in the, um, uh, specs. So moving on into design, uh, the design of this knife, I think is done. Okay. I think it's done well. Uh, there are a few things I might change personally, but I, I you know, I think it's done pretty well. I don't think there's a lot I can complain about here. I do like the clip point blade. Um, uh, the, the saber grind is fine. I think, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I think it looks probably better as a saber grind than a full flat, but a full flat would definitely be more practical in the use sense. Um, you're not going to be prying, you're not going to be doing anything funky with this. So a full flat grind probably would have, would have done very well on this. But anyways, uh, the design is done pretty well. I do think the handle could have been designed a little bit better here, although it's trying to give you leverage on your pinky. Um, but it just, it's kind of no man's land where that point comes in. So um, that's gonna come in at ergonomics as well. But yeah, that's it's not done amazingly, although I did find that it didn't bother me too much in use, uh, especially because I'm not getting uh, you know extensive use on this knife since it's Apex Pass Around. But, yeah, I didn't have any issues with that point, but it is a little bit of a design. I think it, it could have been done better there. Um, even if it just, you know, you couldn't just round it over because it would have looked funky, but uh, there's different ways to go about that. So I don't love where that point lands, but, you know, it, it is what it is. So uh, everything else in the design, I think, is fine. Nothing like super um, blaring or anything. I, I like, it's pretty simplistic with like three screws. You don't need much more than that generally, but I do like how simple it is. Uh, I don't think that the lanyard, uh, I don't think the lanyard hole is necessary. Although with something like this, you might have it deep in your pocket and just have a lanyard sticking out. So I think that, you know, it works for this knife. Although I think a lot of traditional guys will be pretty upset about that. Uh, it does have a half stop, although this is not a traditional knife guy, um, uh, knife for those guys. It's, it's really just not, it's not for a traditional knife guy, but the half stops there. I know a lot of traditional knife guys are going to need that half stop, but, um, it's there. So that's a good part of the design. I do appreciate the half stop. Uh, moving on into action guys, since we're coming off a of design, I, there's not much more I can talk about with design. But um, as far as the action goes, we know that this is a slip joint, so there's not like it's not gonna have a flicky action. Uh, the action, the the spring tension is stiff, but not like when you open a traditional that far, it usually snaps back. This has like it once it gets there, it's really just until it snaps into the half stop, it's kind of just. Or like pretty stiff then it snaps into the half stop and then it does snap in open but it's just not authoritative um, I feel like it could be much stronger as far as snapping open and then in the closing action it's kind of weak see that it's, it doesn't really snap shut like a traditional so traditional guys are not going to be happy with this knife uh, right off the bat I could say that I, I know that 
but it's overall it's it's not bad. I like the half stop. And um, closing it one-handed is not bad. Opening it one-handed, it's a little stiff for the one-handed opening. You can do it, but you got to be really careful, especially if you have a super sharp edge, trying to get this open one-handed. So it works, but definitely not the you know recommended way of opening this knife. And you could easily cut yourself if you're not being super careful. So. Um, yeah, the action's okay. Not amazing for a slip joint, but yeah. Uh, going into the blade. The blade is done well. Um, it's ground pretty well, but, and it's super thin, nice and thin, you know, stock. But, I mean, it's not, there's just nothing special about it. I think it's done well. It's just a clip point, um, saber grind. Uh, it's ground pretty thin behind the edge. But could have been ground thinner for sure, especially with what it the application, uh, and I think they could have eliminated the whole clip point thing. I don't think it's necessary. But I mean, they could have done a draw point and done full flat ground. They could have done a full flat grind with the clip point. Might might have looked kind of funny, but um, practically speaking, it would have definitely made a better cutting knife, especially with how thin the stock is. Although I felt like. Um, you know, with, with how thin the stock is and the saber grind, it cut very well. So have no complaints about the blade. Um, the factory grind is very even. I believe this, this must be the factory grind because all these knives come with factory grinds on them. Um, it's very even. So, and very well done. Everything's terminated well with the blade. So I uh, kind of also talked about that in the fit and finish. And also the fact that you see that machining there. I, I didn't talk about that in the fit and finish, I forgot, but look at that machining on the backspacer. I feel like that could have been smoothed out and maybe made, or even done with the, the stone wash that the blade has, but the milling lines, that's not really, doesn't look finished to me. It doesn't seem like a finished product. So that was something I forgot to note in the fit and finish, but yeah, a blade is done well. Uh, performance of that blade. Uh, this is actually where the knife kind of took a turn for me. Uh, I wasn't really like when it came, I wasn't super into it. It wasn't like something I was like, Oh yeah. But, um, once I used it, once I cut with it, I was like actually pretty impressed. And I, I, I felt like it was a, it was a joy to use as far as cutting. So I did really enjoy that. And that's what this is all about, right? It's a knife. So when I put it to use and started cutting, never felt like it was going to shut on me. Um, the thin stock went through material very easily, no matter what it was. Um, it was just super enjoyable to use. And although I think this points in no man land, no man's land, I did find myself just going on the other side of it like that and getting my work done or even kind of squeezing into this spot here if I wanted to get closer. And it actually worked very well. And I didn't find myself like struggling to get a good grip or feeling like it was going to you know, cut, you know, like uh, cut into my pinky or anything or uncomfortable. So really enjoyed that. And, and um, I thought the performance is really, really nice. So that's actually where this knife kind of took a turn for me. And uh, really nice. So and, and going into ergonomics, or actually, first off, I do want to kind of bring in the calipers really quickly. Uh, I do want to see what this thing is behind the edge. I didn't, I didn't look at this before, so I'm seeing this as, you know, with you guys. So, yeah, one point, point zero one eight five, which is essentially 18 thousandths. Um, and that's pretty good, guys. Or 19 thousandths if you want to round up. Yeah. Okay. 185 ten thousandths, <laughs> essentially. Uh, yeah, pretty much the whole way, guys. That's actually really nice. Uh, it could be ground thinner with it being... Um, I'm not sure what the angle of this bevel is. I'm sure if I laid it back, it'd be it'd be um, a bigger dimension there. But uh, it could be thinner, but it's really just performs excellently. I, I, I have no complaints about that grind as far as performance goes because it really does cut. It, it does very well cutting. And I'm sure with my edge on it, it would be even better. Uh, but speaking, this S90 
um, for the um, speaking, you know, of the blade. The S90 is, seems to be done well. Uh, I did quite a bit of cutting with it, and it still feels like it's got some bite to it. Um, I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll cut some, some uh, receipt paper. Oh yeah, I didn't strop this or anything, guys. So you can see that this is, ah, that was me. This this receipt paper has been, there we go. You can see it's it's cutting it, but. Um, yeah, I really do think that uh, the S90 has done well. I'd love to sharpen it and check it out some more, but overall, I think it's done very well. So I could not complain about that. Um, I do want to try some of their S90, like actually get to sharpen and use it, but that way, and maybe uh, edge retention test it. But I really did enjoy this blade and the performance of the blade. So, And then ergonomics, guys, going into the ergonomics, uh, like I said before, I do think it's a little crammed in here. Uh, my hands are three and a half inches, or I'm sorry, three and three quarters inches across here, um, four inches tall, and then six and a quarter to six and a half from this point to this point, which gives you a good impression of what that's gonna feel like or how your hand's gonna wrap around this. But I do think that it's a little crammed but in saying that, I found it to be very comfortable. The handles are contoured very well, and I never found a hot spot on this thing. It was very comfortable. Like I said, I didn't do like, you know, an hour's worth of cutting or anything, but it, it did, um, it, was it was very comfortable in the use I got. And with a knife like this, I don't think you're gonna be putting it to like hours worth of use, cutting hundreds of feet worth of cardboard, but I'm not gonna say that because you know, I, I know a lot of guys go, oh, uh, you go, you don't cut that much cardboard. It's like, how do you know? Um, there's guys out there that buy a knife and all they do is cut all day. So this is for everybody, not just the knife jewelry guy out there watching these videos, okay? Um, that's why I do my videos, for the guys that use their stuff, because that's what I do. I use my stuff every day. So uh, yeah, uh, moving into the carry. Um, I think the carry was done well. Uh, I, I mean, what is it? It's a slip joint, right? With no pocket clip. So you're just throwing this in your pocket, essentially. For me, I threw it in my fifth pocket. It disappeared. It was very nice. Um, this is a very light knife, uh, as you will well know from the specs, but we'll go ahead and see the reality and, and look at the, the weight. Can you guys see that? Yeah, 2.13, so just over two ounces. Very light, um, pretty much disappears in that fifth pocket. Very nice. Uh, in the fifth pocket, it was nice. I pulled it out, no issues. If it was in a slip, I, I kind of have an issue because then you're like taking it out of, you know, you take it out of the slip, open it, put it back in the slip. But with it just in the fifth pocket, it was very comfortable to carry and get out and use. Although I still needed two hands to kind of really open it comfortably. But uh, really nice overall as far as carry goes. Really quickly, I'll bring this guy back in um, just to show you guys, uh, like, you know, the full flat uh, draw point grind here, it's a lot thinner behind the edge, you know, than the S90. Um, you, you know, you do get a, a really nice slicey blade, excuse me, out of this uh, manly knife um, for a lot cheaper, guys, for the manly. Uh, the action is really snappy, although they have this funky... Traditional guys are probably gonna hate these, but they have like six stops. You got like one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, four stops. Two, three, four. It's kind of funky. Um, even opening it one-handed, it's just funky because of all the stops. But somebody might like that. Um, I don't love it, but it is what it is. So. Uh, that's weird. And then the handle is just not that well done. So you guys know, you know, where your value is coming in something like this. This is much nicer, more gentleman's carry. This is just raw, like get your work done type of knife. Um, it does have steel liners and everything. Oh, and by the way, this thing is skeletonized. I didn't talk about that when it comes to the, the weight, but this does have some, some, uh, um, skeletonization going on in there they do remove some steel from the liners which makes it nice and light so um, this one has steel liners and they are skeletonized as well but 
Uh, just a lot more rugged. So this is more that workman's knife. This is more that I'm going to church or whatever, you know, gentleman's carry knife. I'm going to a wedding or whatever. But this can get all the work done too with a little more class. This one's just more like I'm not going to have to worry about it. It can just go into work jeans and, you know, get oil all over it. I don't care. So uh, just a, a different um, approach essentially. Um, in conclusion, guys, if I'm talking about this knife overall, um, I actually really like it. Um, I was actually tempted to hit up Zach and be like, uh, hey, uh, would you be interested in selling this knife to me? Because I really do like the overall knife. And um, I wanted to be able to sharpen the S90. So I, I kind of was like thinking about grabbing it off of him if he was willing to sell it. But then I stopped myself um, because I know I'm not going to, for one, I probably would carry this one a little bit more than some of my other traditionals, but because I don't have a slip and it would just sit in my pocket and I want to try S90 from Benchmade. That was one of the big reasons I wanted to grab this, but, uh, yeah, I, I didn't end up doing it. And a lot of that reason is kind of some of the Benchmade things that are going on right now. I'm just not necessarily screaming to go buy Benchmade's. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm really tempted guys, really tempted to grab one. I do like it a lot. Um, I'd love to check out the micarta version and see how I like that. Although I don't think they have that one in S90, which that would be pretty much a no brainer for me. I'd probably grab one of those just because I love micarta and I want to try their S90. But, um, uh, yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty nice knife and I would suggest it to somebody who likes traditionals who wants like a gentleman's carry. Uh, with S90V on a gentleman's carry knife, um, you would probably rarely, rarely sharpen it. Um, you're just opening letters and stuff like that. So I don't think you'd be sharpening it much. And I think in that case, you'd be pretty stoked with S90. And um, I think the knife is very well done. I just, for one, for traditional guys, I would say I would pass for most traditional guys. Um, guys that like modern traditionals, you'd probably dig this a lot. Um, it does have that modern traditional feel with the carbon fiber, you know, the, the lanyard hole, but still has the half stop like traditional guys love. And yeah, I think it's overall, well, whoo, sorry guys, overall well done. I do think the jimping kind of misses the, the idea, uh, a little confused on the jimping, but yeah, overall, I think just well, well done. So, um, Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it brought you some value. Uh, thanks again to the Apex Pass Around group and Zach. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on the next one.